Kids, where are you? Christian. I'm up here fixing up a room. I'm right here. What are we doing? We're going to get mango hunting. Are we going to go mango hunting? Yeah. Up with Christian, and today I'm going to show you how to make non toxic hairspray. Goodbye! All right, so we're taking the big truck today, right, Christian? Mm -hmm. Leela, are you ready? What are we doing, babe? We're gonna get some mangoes. Mango, mango, mango. This is the south side of Lota Marcos, where a lot of, a little bit more country living, you can say. Bigger lots, not in the town. And so you can drive around here and if the tree is not in somebody's property, it's open to the public and anybody can get. So right behind us, there is a mango tree. Okay, what's up babe? Say it again. These are not dry. Okay. Quite hard, so we'll look for another tree. All right, so it's this amazing time of year where at the end of June, July, the mangoes are super ripe and they quite frankly just start making messes all over the town. And so the locals are allowed to go around, pick them up, get them off the tree so that we just keep the environment a little bit cleaner. Alright, so we just asked, asked some locals where we could go get some mangoes and we didn't even notice but their house right here is loaded with mangoes. So they said we could go ahead and come inside and just have at it. So with the tamarinds, you can make tamarind water. And what you do there is you boil them with the sugar and then pour it into some water and you get tamarind water. So the bacteria fighting liquid is in the bucket and now we're just going to wait for 10 minutes, probably do a little bit more, about 20, so that they can really just get clean. Uh, the only reason is is because they were on the ground and 
there are toxins and bacteria in the ground, um, in the soil here, and we just don't know. So just to make sure that I don't get sick again, along with my family, uh, which has already happened twice, um, but not since I've cleaned my vegetables properly. Um, this will help prevent it, and we can eat lots of mangoes. So, all right. So here we are. We're at home. The mangoes are cleaned, and we have a little conveyor belt system going where uh, Jason cuts the the mangoes. I'm basically skinning them. We are going to be freezing them because we eat mangoes for breakfast. But and we don't like to waste anything, so the kids eat around the pits, and they love it. It's just like an awesome treat for them. And sometimes Leela gets a little bite too. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ketchup with Christian, and today I'm going to show you how to make non-toxic hairspray. So this is what you're going to need to make non-toxic hairspray. Sugar, water, and a big measuring cup. Ask your parents if you can use a tablespoon of vodka, a two tablespoon, a whisker, Two bottles. So first, I'm gonna. I have a cup of water here, and I'm gonna put two tablespoons of sugar. Of sugar. So I'm also adding lavender and wild orange in. If you're using essential oils, lavender is very soothing to the skin and to the hair. So I'm adding this in and. Wild orange, is, it just smells really good. So now we're gonna add 10 drops of each essential oil. So now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of bark gum. Bark gum helps it evaporate and the hair dries quickly. So now I'm gonna pour this in. Okay, so it's best to use a BPA-free or glass bottle when using essential oils. And there you have it, that's how you make non-toxic hairspray. Be sure to watch my next Catch Up with Christian where I'm going to show you how to make local style Hamica water. Thanks for watching and make sure Let's go again. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned. <laughs> it is so bad. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the regeneration button. And subscribe.